just the other day it is alleged that they found this um, scroll in the Dead Sea um, cave there where they found various artifacts, especially religious and um, Israel and so on. Now they're saying that they found uh, one of the earliest copies of the um, Ten Commandments. And immediately I want to find out whether it could be translated and let us see with the Ten Commandments we have in the Bible whether it's an uh, exact copy. I suspect that it could be somebody that aged something and put it in there that will show that maybe there was no fourth commandment, thou shalt not work on the Saturday, on the Sabbath. Uh, because this is one of the issues that will be uh, paramount in these end times. And so this could be a beginning where they start showing that the scripture is not accurate. But God has a better plan. Now, when Israel was destroyed um, in AD 70, when the Romans surrounded it, by the way, before they were surrounded, they crucified Stephen, who had reminded them of the history, how God has led them, and how they crucified the same Jesus that led them, and so on. And they ran at him and stoned him. And he looked at them and said, Lord, don't lay this guilt on them. And uh, subsequently, after God saw that, you know, all he has done is waste of time with Israel, he decided to permanently ban them from the Middle East and get them out of that area. Because it was his place, not theirs, it's his. Uh, and so, um, in the evenings, on the horizon, they will see uh, salutes of, you know, wars, uh, soldiers, guys on horse, with a sword. You see it like if it's like a, a 1D. And um, the noise and the crying and the, you know, the whole battle scenario happened every evening and uh, people come to all kinds of speculations. But God was telling those Christians that, or you see, Israel divided into Christians and those who continue with the old tradition, offering sacrifices, expecting the Messiah to still come and all that stuff. So, um, those who accepted Jesus and so forth and knew that this is the Christ and died and so forth, um, they were the faithful ones. So, a leader, senior members of that posse or that group, God instructed that when this place is surrounded, you will see the, suddenly the, the, the Romans will retreat. And if they retreat to the right around the mountain, you go through the left. And it did happen. The, the Romans came. Everybody was crying. And it was they felt imminent death. And for no reason, they retreated. And those who kept to the old system were rejoicing and saying, ha, 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 it's going to be fun again. But the Christians took, according to God's instruction, took the ark and certain artifacts of the temple and hid it in a cave. Now, I don't even think that after they hid it in the cave, they could come back and find it. And I don't think humans could find it because God has laid a stone and he's created an atmosphere there that nobody feels that there is a place to go. And nothing they could do to find it. Just like the Ark of the, uh, that came from the antediluvian world. It is some way up on Mount Ararat and in the near future we shall see just before the Lord returns. So establish that there was a flood and the Ten Commandments in the Ark will be found. Now, if you remember the Ark of the Covenant in the, in the, in the um, sanctuary, it had several things. And among them, it had the Book of the Laws, those are the health laws. It had the book, the, the, the stone original that Moses took when God wrote the Ten Commandments on. And um, they found it, there was some manna remind them of the journey from Egypt to Israel. I think the rod that Moses uh, used among the things that weren't there. Did I high school? I can't remember exactly. I think I time to check it out. Right. And so that will be found now. It's going to be found in the in the heat of when there's a dispute as to which is the day to worship on. And I think that this um, thing here, this command thing, uh, I'm looking to see if it's interpreted and what it's going to say. And uh, even if it doesn't say it, there's going to be the issue of which is the right day. And um, they're going to say Sunday and Saturday. But then the commandment is going to be found and then, bam, it's going to be shown to be exactly uh, Saturday. As a matter of fact, why God had scattered the Jews was that in Israel, they were being just, you know, wasting time. They're not doing the right thing. So he scattered them all over the world. So that when people read the scriptures and say, which is a Sabbath day? Oh, the Jews are worshiping on Saturday. That's it. And they're doing a whole variety of other things, although they're off, most of them. Still, they give preeminent, uh, preeminence and, and, and significant relevance to the Bible, and the sacrifices uh, and the various um, feasts and so forth, they, they still um, fulfill. And um, like the Pentecost 
and the Day of Tabernacles. Now, the Feast of the Tabernacles is the time when um, Christ promised that I would come and live with you. So he said, look, this is the time that I'm going to do it. So start, you know, expecting me to come at this time. So it wasn't during the winter. It was during the Feast of the Tabernacles that he was born. So, you know, they, they would be seeing a whole variety of things, but then the Israelis got smart and they say, you know what, we need a homeland. And it ended up going back in the Middle East and a whole bunch of problems. So, um, I'm just looking to see what this commandment is going to say.